Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Val Trisic, and we are here for What the Fuck Wednesdays. And this week I have mangoes. These are the cheat variety of mango. You can kind of tell that they are cheat because they have this little ridgy nub thing here and they kind of go from like this yellow to green now they won't like they'll still be green even when they're ripe so you kind of have to go by the feeling of it kind of like you know avocado testing you know firmness is the way you tell whether or not they're ripe i kind of like them in the middle of ripe and under ripe i almost i even like them when they're crunchy like not ripe at all because I'll make them with like some salt and pepper and vinegar and just eat them like that or just some salt and pepper, so good. But when they are ripe, I just like them just like that. Or if you haven't had it with this stuff, you've got to try it with this stuff. It's tahini. I like tahini. So if you haven't had your mangoes with tahini, ripe or not ripe, freaking try it with some tahini, you'll be in love. So I'll show you guys how to cut and open a mango. I mean, these are kind of basic to me, like, because that's just how I grew up. I grew up with mangoes and all kinds of tropical fruits. So I kind of find these to not really be exotic, but many of you might. So I'll show you how to cut one open so that you're not afraid of them. Don't be afraid of mangoes so good. So the way that I like to cut my mango is pretty easy. I like to cut the top off and then the bottom off. Now you can either, which I'll show you both ways, uh, you can see the seed now. So the seed's going this way. So you'll be able to cut along the seed. Just like that. And then I'll do the same to the other side. Now you can, which I would normally do, is peel this back and then you can either just go to town and eat off of the seed or you can chunk up all the little pieces off of there. The next thing you do is you take your skin. Now some people will take it like this and then run it along a freaking cup or something like that but if you end up with a really stringy variety of mango that ain't gonna work so good for you and you're gonna end up with a bloody fucking mess so this is the way that I like to do it which you do have to kind of be careful not to cut all the way through the skin and then it just pops open like that and then you'll take that and kind of just block the little pieces into your bowl. If it's riper, it does go a lot quicker. Like, they'll, like, come pretty quickly off. So, that's the way I do it sometimes. Other times, I will completely cut the skin off. Ooh. Almost went a little deep on that cut. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, and then you can even take the skin and like, uh, mm, mm, good, okay. Okay, this one's got a little bad spot on it, I can already tell. But, the other way you can do it is I still cut the top and bottoms off like that so I can see where the seed is. And then I'll peel it like this and essentially do the same thing as I did with the other one. You'll be able to see the bad spot. Or not. <laughs> I 
Anywho, this way is a little bit more messy than the way I just showed you, but I don't know. It's just one of the ways I was, this is the way I was taught to cut mangoes before everybody started getting all fancy and crap. So from there, you take it just like you did before with the one with the skin on it. And it's a little more slippery, so you have to be more careful not to like let it slide completely away from you. And then from here, you just chunk it. I kind of prefer this way, even though it's a little bit more messy, but if you're trying to eat it on the go, I could see where leaving it in the skin would be a better option than taking it out. Oops. This is kind of why I like to just eat it off the seat because it's like, you never know, it's kind of everywhere. Ooh. This is where it gets messy. This is where it gets messy. Yeah. There you go. So no need to be afraid of cutting up bingo. It's really not that serious. Quick and freaking easy. Love mango. This is what I Oh my god, so bad. Mmm. Okay. Uh, all right, so there's our bowl of mango. I don't know what I did with my fork. <laughs> I left it in my watermelon. Anyway, so there it is. These ones are kind of ripe. I'm gonna put some stuff in Maybe I'll put some I am now. This is just like chili, lime, salt stuff. I don't know. It's good. <laughs> Good. So, yeah. That was heat mangoes. They're delicious. Um, other varieties have definitely other kinds of flavors and they ripen differently. Like, there's some that grow that don't turn like yellow at all there's some that turn like a bright red when they're ripe so it is encouraged to try them throughout all the seasons these ones came from mexico but the ones that i've had from brazil came the closest to the ones that used to grow in panama and that's where mangoes are the most delicious so <laughs> give them a try thanks for watching this episode of a wet death Wednesdays. Also, if you guys are not following me on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter, I am Val Tries It There. I'll see you guys next time. Came okay, bye.